everyone, welcome to runout.tv, it's Mal here and we are coming towards the end of the season in the School North and we played 39 games of a total of 42, we've got 3 games left and it's a 40th game coming up. As you can see we're still in with a shout at the playoffs, we've lost 15 games this season, you know we certainly have found it difficult um, and uh, you know we're hoping we can get a couple more wins in the bag, might be able to scrape the playoffs, who knows. Uh, but either way, it's going to be a busy, busy pre-season next season, either way. Um, we do actually have uh, two players coming in, which I'll show you in a minute. Top scorer, Timmon, he's on the bench for the next game. Just want to go to tactics. Oops, I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, Luke Ashworth's been really good this season, he's played 50 games. Defence hasn't played really well, no one's really excelled. Akindi's done very well, um, played well the last five games, has earned his spot there. Um, pretty much the team is as you see it. Chippendale has had a terrible season with injuries he's out for three to five weeks he hasn't really played as well as I'd hoped when he's been on the pitch he's been alright but has been injured a lot of times um, Neil Innes is out uh, we've got oh no let me just have a look at our under 18s because we do we will have our new set of of players here um, we've got Chris Coates and we've got Lewis Jones is still our best player. He's doing very well. He's getting better and better. He's in the top five in our squad. And uh, we're going to go straight to the next match, guys. So we're going to play and then we're going to do a report at the end of the season. A very quick report. See how we get on. So we're playing Lincoln, the top team. I think we might have played Lincoln the last time you were here. Um, but hopefully we will do okay this game. We're just going to let the coaches deal with it and we're going to see how we get on with playing probably the player of the season George Thomas there he is he's been excellent this season and has tortured everybody he's come up against so we're going to have to play well to, to stop him from scoring today a good performance off George today would probably win him the uh, award and he scored within 5 minutes his 30th goal of the season so he plays for Coventry and has had the perfect season blooding himself down in the lower divisions. It's exactly what you want as a as a manager. You want your player to get loads of goals, loads of first team experience, and uh, hopefully make him a better player. I'm sure it has for for him. And there's Sam McKinley. He's got down from the lower divisions. Cartwright. McKinley's done very well and nearly, very nearly scored. Uh, we've got a few. We've got quite a few tweakings to do. I think it's going to be a a bit of a revolution for us. in the off-season. So I wouldn't mind just getting back into this game. If we can win, we've got a tough uh, few fixtures coming up, but if we can get a win today, that would certainly make it a lot more likely that we're going to meet the playoffs. If I have to guess, I would say we're probably going to come up just a little bit short this season. Um, but if we get a chance to play another season, which I'm sure we'll have time before the new game comes out, we might well have a run. Um, but unfortunately, we've lost Charlie Anderson, our left back, to injury. So it's going to be Tom Bedard coming on to replace him, a young fullback with a lot of potential. We've had a lot of the possession, but we're just not doing anything with it. So here's Hawkins with a cross, and it's a goal. Overson, own goal, so great cross there right into the danger zone and Overson just tried to clear but hits off him and goes into the goal straight in, so 1-1 one, one. So against the top team in the league, this is a a decent result but we do want the win to try and get into the playoffs and win our last game so a win here would be a, an amazing result great ball to Akindi Watson to sail crossed in and oh it's really good shot by Akindi but he was offside Sam Besson in goal for Lincoln's had a good season 
clamping hard to Thomas, great ball to Airy, and he nearly threw that at the goal, must have just missed whistled over, he hangs his head in shame, it did look a good chance. So right off the goal kick, I think coming forward very well concert. Hawkins out to bed out to Cartwright, has a shot and it's a save by Besson right on the line, right off the goal kick. Sorry, off the kick off and right into Besson's hands there, drifts the corner in. Oh and Thomas on the break here. Good tackle and it goes out for a corner. And they're making a substitution, but I don't think I want to just yet. Wait a couple more minutes and we'll have a look to see who needs a break. Can we watch the end of this highlight clip, see what, what's going on. Oh, and there's Sullivan scored. Lincoln moving into the lead, so we're going to have to make a change here. We're going to have to put on Matty Timmon and probably Tom Murray for... Charlie Clamp I think it's going to be so we're going to make those changes and we're going to go to a counter attack and style I think when we get a minute so we'll see if that does anything can't complain losing against the top team in the league but we have had chances we should have been doing a little bit better than this I think and Watson is injured they thought he was offside, we're up in the ninth position. Let's hope he's alright. Well, we've got a chance. Watson's still down. Might not be able to play on. We can't make any more changes. And it seems like he's back on, so let's see if we can go ahead. It'd be great if we could get the go ahead goal. A good ball to Tim, and he's through. And a good save by the goalkeeper, Bessent. 80 minutes gone, Murray crosses it in. Hawkins wide of the goal. So everything to play for in this. Got a few players nursing knocks, but got no more changes to make unfortunately, so we're gonna have to win and bear it. And a good save by Possible for it. I'm just gonna go Oh and a goal right at the end. Liam Trussell of his first goal of the season right at the death. Great corner, perfectly placed right in front of goal, and actually it went straight in, so that's a disappointment. Last chance, and there it is, Lincoln the win, but what a disappointment that was. We're down in 10th, we would have been in the mix, but now it's very unlikely we're going to make the playoffs, guys. Unfortunately, that's the probably our last chance, so that run through there proved to be a big big change and um, we've lost Allison probably for the rest of the season and Anderson as well so a bit of a disappointing uh, end there so let's just recap on the plans then we've got two more games to go and we're going to be finishing in mid table so just in terms of changes then in terms of plans of transfers we have Richard Flynn coming into the team 16 year old leading player for most northern premier premier teams he's going to be giving Allison a run for his money and we also have Sidorkowitz who's a right back and a centre back who is also um, we're going to have to get the scout report for him we're just going to we've obviously took it off him we have actually signed this guy so he is very very good he would have no intention of joining the club well he actually is joining the club um, let's have a look at his report why is he not letting me view his report View report there says so a decent signing. Um, he would be our fourth best right back. That's a slight disappointment. And our third best centre back. So he'd be in the squad. He'd be in, the, in and around the team. Uh, but he's he's on his way to us. Was rated a bit higher last season, which is a bit of a disappointment. But um, that's fine. So guys, there you go. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that. We're a little bit unlucky, but that's the end. Probably the end of this season. And we're really going to do, I'm going to do a video in, in, in the off-season. I'm going to scout all these guys as much as we can. And 
we're going to um, praise these players performances he likes that one and we're also going to praise the everyone that we have we can remove advice and off we go so yeah we're gonna to have to do some uh, changes but we're gonna do a video on the off season stick around for that and I'll see you guys on the next video